Alright, welcome back to learning New Testament Greek. And today you're on the home stretch. You got four more letters before you know the Greek alphabet. And we're gonna start start off with the letter phi. Phi. Phi is a circle. Not quite the whole whole bottom half, it's only a half to letter with a stake through it. Circle with a line through it. Oftentimes you'll see me draw them in one motion. So you can this actually a little faster, but it in typeface it'll look more like that. You can either come round and then down, or you can do a circle with a line through it. V. And phi makes a ph sound, so phi as in phone. Phi. Capital phi is a bigger circle with a bigger line through it. Ooh, that, that line got all kitty wampus. Should be a straight line. Phi. Phi. Or, there you go. Either way is acceptable with me. You'll see me draw it like, like that most of the time because it's a little faster. Alright, phi. Next letter is ki. No, this is not chai. This is ki. And ki has a ch sound. A ki is the first letter of the word Christos, or the, the Greek word for Christ. Alright, ki, you start at the top. It's a straight line. At the top, the top of the second half, because it's only a half tall letter. You start there, down with a straight line, and a sort of curved line goes across, and that is a key. Key. Well, a lowercase key. There you go. Capital key. Start at the top and come down. Start at the top and come down, and I give it little feet. Because it had little feet traditionally. So, key. It looks just like the letter X. So, when people use the term X Xmas, you'll see that around the holiday time. Xmas. Originally, that was not an X. That was the letter key. So, Kimos is what they were saying. Key was an abbreviation for the word Christos, which was Christ. So, Kimos is Christos Mas. Mas is an old English word for um, festival celebration, something along those lines, and Christos is Christ. So, Christmas is a celebration or festival of Christ. And Xmas is actually just an abbreviation of Christmas. Now, there are some people who try to take Christ out of Christmas, but the origin of Xmas is more abbreviation, more laziness than malice. So you have the capital key. And your lowercase keys. There you go, I can draw keys all day. But I've run out of space. So that means we're going to have to move on to our next letter. Oh, this is so exciting, you have two letters to go. Oh, hold on there, paper. Paper's getting a little overzealous. Alright, line up so I'm more or less straight. And... It's probably crooked now. It'll be crooked when I look at it later. Uh, that's good for now, though. Next letter is C. Not Psi. C. C is a half tall letter. And you kind of come out, make a little U type shape, and down the middle. C looks like a little trident. And it's pronounced Ps. Psi. Uh, P.S. sound, like the uh, 
You've heard the bugle player play taps. Pss, pss. That's the type sound it would make. So just a little U. Little, um, lenses outside. And right down the middle. Capital C is the same thing, but bigger. It looks like a trident. Not the gum. Like Poseidon used. Poseidon, his, his name would have started with a C. There you go. C. Now, for the last letter of the Greek alphabet. Omega. And Omega has a long O sound, so Omega. And to draw Omega, the lowercase Omega, you, it's a half-tall letter, so you start at the half-tall and you kind of loop out. I guess curve out, then the loop. And curve in. Out, out, and in. So it looks sort of like a loopy W. And that is Omega. O. Omega. Now the capital of Omega. Come in, make a big horseshoe looking unit, and like that. Big horseshoe looking thing, except this should be taller. Uh, those of you who've dealt with electronics should recognize Omega because they use it as a, um, a symbol to represent ohms. Omega. And capital Omegas are hard to draw big, apparently. Lowercase aren't. There, that's better. So now you know the letters Alpha to Omega. In fact, that's what Christ calls himself in the book of Revelation. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. Okay, before I leave you today, we're going to find me a new piece of paper, and we're going to go over the entire alphabet, all in one go. Uh, there we go. Starting with, well, starting at the beginning with the letter, Alpha, and its capital, Beta, remember Beta begins below the line, and its capital. What's next? Gamma, and the capital of Gamma. Then Delta. And its capital, an epsilon. Remember, it looks like a C with a line through it, and its capital. What's next? Zeta, and its capital, big big Z. Then we have eta. And eta's capital, like an H, eta, eta, theta, theta, and its capital. Remember, lowercase theta line goes all the way across, capital it doesn't, and that should be wider, but I misjudged my amount of space I had. Yoda, and its capital. Zeta, eta, theta, iota, kappa, and its capital. What's next? That's right, lambda. Remember the capital of lambda is just a big, looks like a delta without the bottom, lambda. Then mu, mu begins below the line, down, and up, and down, and its capital looks like a big M. Next. New, remember new's pointy, 
Its capital looks like a big N. Alpha uh, Mu Nu. Then we have C. Recall its capital. C. Then we have Omicron. Its capital looks like a big O. And, oh good, I have one more piece of this paper already. So you got Omicron. Next. Oh, come on, paper, work with me. Secure it, all right. Omicron, then you have the letter P. It's capital, then Rho, and capital Rho, Sigma, we have our medial Sigma, we have a final Sigma, and we have a capital Sigma. Then you have your Tau, and capital Tau, Upsilon. And your capital Upsilon. V. And capital V. Key. And capital key. V e key. C. Oh, that's a funky looking C here. Let's do that better. There you go. That's a better looking C. And a capital C. And finally, we end with Omega. And there you have it, the Greek alphabet. So if you haven't done so, go ahead and learn these and know them, know how to draw them, know how to recognize them, know how to write them, know what they sound like. And next time, We'll talk about how we put these together and, well, we'll start to talk about how we put these together and make words and sound those words out. And I will we'll catch you next time.